Yama, I'm Jack, and this is Newsbreak. A US senator has asked food officials to investigate Prime, the drink brand which shot to fame thanks to social media stars Logan Paul and KSI, saying that their energy drinks could be dangerous for kids. Here's Joe. It's safe to say that no other drink has ever caused this much hype. The fastest growing sports drink in history. But since going viral, Prime has faced a few issues to do with their energy drinks. In Australia, you'll only find the hydration version. That's because Prime Energy contains double the legal caffeine limit for drinks in Australia. And while Prime Energy is legal in countries like the US, some health experts and politicians are concerned about it. The product has so much caffeine in it that it puts Red Bull to shame. But unlike Red Bull, the advertising campaign is targeted at kids. Yeah, Senator Chuck Schumer reckons that Prime ads are aimed at kids and says there aren't many differences between ads for the hydration drink and the energy drink, causing some kids and parents to mistake one for the other. And that's a worry. Can give children and teens headaches, jitters, nervousness, and can interfere with the sleep cycle, which is so important to the developing brain. So they're calling on the FDA, which is responsible for food and medical standards in the US, to investigate the drink and its marketing. Prime say its energy drink is clearly labeled not recommended for children under 18, and it hasn't done anything wrong. There's no word yet if the FDA will do anything about it. So for now, the hype train will steam on. Here's a uh, slightly scary fact for you. The amount of plastic we use in Australia each year makes greenhouse gas emissions equal to 5.7 million cars being on the road. That's one of the findings from a new report by the Australian Marine Conservation Society and WWF Australia. The report says the emissions, which mostly come from making and recycling plastic, will more than double by 2050. But it also says we can do something about it by using less plastic, doing a better job of recycling, and if companies can make plastic using fewer fossil fuels. England are back in the Ashes hunt after winning the third test in dramatic style. Here's Liber. England is celebrating after a nail-biting finish to the third Ashes test. This works, nails it for four. They chased down 251 runs in the final innings to win the test at Headingley by three wickets. Australia now leads the five-test series 2-1 ahead of the fourth game at Old Trafford. The Adelaide Thunderbirds are super netball champions. They defeated the New South Wales Swifts 60-59 in Saturday's grand final extra time thriller in Melbourne. It's the Thunderbirds' first National League win since 2013 and their fifth title overall. And the team were welcomed home in style today. There may not be any Aussies left in the singles draw at Wimbledon, but there are plenty of twists and turns still coming, including 16-year-old Mira Andreeva, who's playing at Wimbledon for the first time and has now made it into the fourth round. In Formula One, Red Bull's Max Verstappen has won the British Grand Prix. He's absolutely dominated the season and has now won six in a row. But his spotlight was maybe slightly upstaged by Brad Pitt, who came onto the grid to film an upcoming movie. Meanwhile, Australia's Oscar Piastri came in fourth place, his best result yet. Way to go! Now to some stories about animals, but uh, I should warn you, these aren't just any animals. These are extreme animals. Wah! Move over, surfer dudes, because there is a new surf king in town, Sammy the Seal. At this surf park in San Diego, this baby seal decided to join in on the action by jumping on people's surfboards and riding the waves. He would single out a longboard rider, he would chase the longboards down, and when the surfer started paddling, you'd see his little fins start kicking. To Queensland, where these doggos are taking walkies to new heights. They're rescue dogs and they're being taught to abseil with their handlers. Once they're a bit more confident, they'll be used across the globe to help with search and rescue missions. And finally, police in the US have released body cam footage of a chase and run to capture this extremely naughty pig. Ha! Looks like this little piggy went wee 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 all the way to jail. Or somewhere appropriate for a pig. And I'm extremely sorry, but that's all the news we've got for you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Where's that pelican? <laughs>